The creature I'm looking for is easiest to find in the dark, using ultraviolet light. <laughs> Whoa! Man! You can see that? <laughs> Absolutely bizarre, it's glowing, absolutely bright green. Nobody has any idea what evolutionary advantage that confers. Although they now live in some of the driest, most hostile environments on Earth, like here in the desert, scorpions evolved as aquatic predators before emerging onto the land about 380 million years ago. They've adapted to be able to survive the extreme heat and can go for over a year without food or water. And despite their fearsome reputation, 98% of scorpion species have a sting that is no worse than a bee's. But perhaps the most fascinating thing about scorpions from an evolutionary perspective is the way that they catch their prey. You see? that he spreads his legs out on the surface of the sand. And that's because he uses his legs to detect vibrations. Scorpions hunt insects like this beetle. It's almost impossible to see them in the dark, so the scorpion has evolved another way to track them down, by adapting its sense of touch. As the insect's feet move across the sand, they set off tiny waves of vibration through the ground. If just a single grain of sand is disturbed within range of the scorpion, it will sense it through the tips of its legs. They can detect vibrations that are around the size of a single atom as they sweep past. By measuring the time delay between the waves arriving at each of its feet, the scorpion can calculate the precise direction and distance to its prey. ability to detect vibrations and use them to build up a picture of our surroundings is something that we share with scorpions. Mm -hmm. 